Hello everyone, Sage Link here, back with the next game of Tech or the next week of Tech 4 Diamond League. This time my team's gonna be facing Knights of Ren, the team that won last season. And it was actually I actually am kind of glad that they won, because uh, even though I expected it to be David Kim Savants or King Sleuth, they actually didn't have an insane like amount of like AMR compared to the other teams. And that's something that you see is that you just see people pick um, simply based off of MMR, which is basically their overall win-to-loss ratio. But StarCraft 2 is a very complicated game. You can win and lose for many, many reasons. So MMR, you know, is not sort of the perfect uh, way to show, you know, overall power. It's pretty much the kind of the best way there is, you know, just like on the surface, but you might as well, you, it's good to read the book. Uh, I'm most likely not going to be playing this week because they have about one third, if not less than one third, Protosses, and about, and also that, and on top of that, half of them cannon rush. And my builds aren't like hard countered by cannon rushing, but they're not as good as you know most standard builds. Uh, and even though I am good at defending cannon rush rushes, I feel like other people are probably going to have an overall better time. Um, What is this guy doing? Uh, dude, currently you have 350 minerals and you've made nothing. <laughs> See, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm not gonna get into another game in another league where something like this happened, but let's just put it this way, both, neither player should just be producing nothing. I mean, at this rate, you might as well go three hatch, <laughs> because both of them have six, both of them can make two hatcheries and a spawning pool right now, <laughs> after they stop typing. <laughs> That's how many minerals they're floating. <laughs> they're really trying to s smack top each other, but... <laughs> Currently, they're just neither player is doing anything. Like, I'm a fast typer, and even though I might make some typos here and there, I could actually, you know, do stuff with with this. Okay, he's sending out guys for, I guess, a spine rush, or no, in this case, okay, yeah, four four ashes. And I think both players are gonna do that. So Nova's going three. He's three ashes. He's going four. So okay, I can comfortably say I've never seen that before. Um, trash talk into four hatch and three hatch because you don't have enough APM to trash talk and make drones and actually do a normal build. Because keep in mind, if, this is this is two minute mark. Supernova has a spawning pool much quicker than his opponent and it's halfway done. At past the two minute mark. Two minute mark. Just let that sink in. <laughs> so I think this is going to be kind of similar to, you know, having like one hatch to two hatch, or uh, two hatch to three hatch, where one player is going to have you know overall more units, and uh, they're going to have to basically attack and do a decent chunk of damage. Now, given that he's taken this base, I think it's very safe to assume that he has this base location. But at the same time, it's not guaranteed because maybe he's doing this for like a creep highway. So it's, it's definitely not one hundred percent. It's also could be a bit of a mind game. But given how this early game went, I don't think it's that hard to to think four hatches. So if I was him, I definitely would be moving that overlord over there. Currently no link speed despite having the minerals to do so, just making more drones. So he's going 14 slow links and he's making drones and two queens. And keep in mind, he had his spawning pool later. So I feel like Nova's definitely making the wrong Okay, thank god that was a misclick. <laughs> I was about to say, Burrow, <laughs> what are you using with Burrow? Okay, drones here is not a good idea. You really shouldn't. You really shouldn't be making drones here. Because you, your opponent has four hatches. If you, if they just continuously make drones drones, you don't need drones to compete with them. You need links to compete with them and by killing their drones. And queens do not deal with links, as you can see. Yeah, no. As you can see, he's not even trying to fight, but he has to fight. He's just going to lose everything. And now that he's seen the lings, he's making these guys. Yeah, 
He doesn't even need to really run here. He shouldn't... Yeah, thankfully, if Remy's making drones behind this. But yeah, Nova and his opponent, to be fair, are just... Just comp being comp just utterly shit. Like, they're trash-talking, but in reality, neither of them are in a position to trash-talk at all. <laughs> Two lings. I think he probably sees it with that. Yeah. <laughs> now he's got speed, which is actually pretty huge. Because his opponent doesn't. And this would be pretty much game if he didn't take any damage. And yeah, so this, is, this is what I'm talking about. Your opponent's got a bunch of drones, you've got a bunch of links. So just use those links and kill your opponent with them. Especially since the opponent has slow links in this case. I'm kind of against ignoring the hatchery since you already got it to half health. Because you know you're on three bases and you know your opponent's on four. So if you do three bases and they can... It's not like they can just macro out of it far better than you can. Because they have an extra base. Th this is definitely, most definitely the wrong play. He's, he's grouping up with more lings, but he did not need to retreat there at all. The, the more time he waits, the more drones his opponent gets, the more queens his opponent gets, the harder it becomes to, to, to knock out this fourth base. And if this fourth base stays, his opponent's in a very good position. Or not a very good position, but a better position. This is a gigantic mistake. He's going for lair. Maybe lair nidus? Okay, he sees these lings, so he should attack there so there's no counterattack capabilities. But, I mean, he could just make a few lings. And sure, you can try to macro out of this, but you know your opponent's on four hatches. And if they don't see that many lings, they're not going to be making lings of their own. And if they make more lings than you have, then they can counterattack you. And this is kind of just the way of TBZ. Or of CBZ. But yeah, that position... Why? Don't run... What are you doing? There's no units here. Just keep attacking the hatch. <laughs> the thing that was most cringy of all is the fact that this is still, like, miles better than what they were playing before. Because before, they had literally zero APM. 100% of their APM was in typing to each other. <laughs> you wanna, you could have had two dead hatches by now, bruh. <laughs> two, not just one, two. <laughs> you could have easily had two hatch kills this game. By now. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the reasons why I kind of want. I I'm not going to go into. I'm not going to name specific names, but basically there was an argument between a, a friend of mine from another clan and then my clan members who were basically saying that. And even though I do think they were overreacting, they were basically saying that the opponent was kind of constantly talking for trying to trying to provoke me into responding to them, and it was very distracting. And doing kind of like what... Imagine, like, the typing, all the chat that you see here, except only one person's doing it. Imagine that. Lair Infestation Pit. Uh, swarm hosts aren't good when you have just lings. So I'm, I'm assuming infestors? I mean, this little shroud effect isn't going to be that good with just lings, so I'm assuming infestors fungal growth, but that only really helps with range units. I'm really confused. Like, I mean, if you inspire, he, he actually just straight up wins this game because he's got no spore crawlers anywhere. <laughs> Double hatch in the main base. He, what he should do is actually get extra queens and transfuse this base. <laughs> also, it doesn't scout at all. And also, you know that the opponent had more lings, and you haven't made any extra lings, so you definitely shouldn't be attacking here. And now that he actually has just a few lings, you should engage there. Because you kind of split up half the group. And look at how many spine... Th this is true meme fashion. This this looks like an FXB game. <laughs> this looks like an FXB game between, like, two gold zergs. Like, me and, like, goddess or something, like, facing each other. <laughs> like, this is just complete, utter memes. <laughs> When he's actually going to go back, which actually is going to turn out kind of well for him. <laughs> he's going to intercept these guys. And at this point, he really shouldn't be turning back. Because he's trying to, like... Uh, no, he just has more units than you. <laughs> he, do he doesn't have any upgrades. <laughs> but the... <laughs> I'm just going to say this right now. When you're trash-talking someone, you need to be in a lead. 
and also they must they need to be doing something dumb. Currently neither of you are doing are doing anything smart. Both of you are playing dumb because you're trash talking. <laughs> this is really cringy. <laughs> How many links do we have? 9761. Yeah, and this is another problem. Like, look at how many minerals Nova's floating. He's not making spines. He's just going up the tech tree and making li and making drones. Doesn't have any spines. Doesn't have anything. So look, one round of links, and he loses all of his drones. And just now making eight links, which is not any anywhere close to the number he needs. And again, neither player has upgrades. What is it? And yeah, Laser just wins this because his opponent was playing dumb, and quite, well, quite frankly, both players were playing incredibly dumb. Neither player is in any position to rash talk. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I hope that whoever faces Laser, whoever wins this game, because, I mean, the fact that he should just be aim moving, but he's not. So he's going to give his opponent a chance for no reason. Whoever wins this game, I hope gets trash talked super badly next game <laughs> because they utterly deserve it with how crap they are. <laughs> oh my god, this, this is this is like a brother. I mean, this this is even worse than like when you have two brothers, like two brothers facing each other, like on the couch, like ah, being you know, that type of thing. shit. This is. This is next level just trash talking. <laughs> and the thing is, they're trash talking so much they're not even playing. Four hatches before pool and doesn't get punished for it. That's something that only happens when you trash talk and are literally not clicking a single button. <laughs> I mean, Noah actually had a tiny lead at the start because he made one drone, whereas his opponent made literally nothing. <laughs> like, let me just put it this way. If you have enough APM to the point where you can continuously type like that, which isn't too hard to do, you can make, you know, squeeze out an extra turn or two and do that, he would have had a hatch much quicker, he would have had a pool much quicker, he could have literally just ended the game. <laughs> also, comp only links, and he's getting roaches, hydra den, infestation pit spire, he's getting every tech structure at once. Both hives, this hive's almost done. Also, no creep spread at all, which is also a big, big mistake. He's got energy for it. He sees a lurker then. <laughs> he doesn't even have that many links, does he? He's got 36 roaches rallied to the Night of Swarm that had no chance to actually unload those roaches because not only is they unload time longer, but the Nidus was done about 10-15 seconds before the roaches came out. Now the roach play would usually be good, but only if you're really maxed out. Like, lings actually are a very good unit against roaches. The only times that roaches beat lings is when you're maxed out on units. So uh, yeah, the lings can just... there's so many lings compared to roaches that... I mean... <laughs> the biggest problem is Nova should know that he has far less units, but for some stupid reason he doesn't. <laughs> I mean, look at this amount of lings. Just imagine if he had, like, five Bane Links here. <laughs> like, Nova's not making, he's floating so much, he's not making Links. What, what's the APM at right now? I feel like I'm watching a Bronze League hero game with all the trash talking and all the, this bad plays. I mean, from what I've heard, these are just two friends, and I've heard that this game was expected to go this along these lines, but not quite this level. Oh yeah, now you target the hatchery and kill it, now that your opponent has, you know, two dozen hatcheries, and it matters not in a tiny bit. Like, here's the thing, if this is a casual game between two friends, that's fine with me, but this is a league game, okay? And these players are acting like, you know, they want to lose, or acting like they don't care at all if they lose, and th that, that really annoys me. <laughs> It's one thing when you play with friends and you have a little trash talk, but you actually play your best. This, they're not, they're playing like silver to gold. It, I mean, if that. Like, it really does feel like I'm watching a bronze league here this game. Look at the production tab. 
His opponent has more APM. Supernova has more APM, and he's producing zero units. Zero. Zero units, zero structures, absolutely nothing. And yet he somehow has two times the amount of freaking APM. Like, look at how many spines his opponent has. 30 spines to zero. Four creep tumors to two, which are active, by the way. Oh yeah, let's let me spawn a nidus worm into two, <laughs> into you know two uh, two of those. Oh no, yeah, I saw the lurker den. Let me not do anything versus it. <laughs> He's gonna go right into the main, and he doesn't even have an overseer in position despite having an overseer. He's not burrowing them, thankfully. <laughs> I mean, at this point, usually I would say something like Supernova has no chance to win the game unless his opponent makes a gigantic mistake, but at this point, at this point, there's... Th they're just memeing. <laughs> I feel like I should just stop talking, <laughs> because at this point, even though I'm annoyed that they're taking this so nonchalantly because it's a league game, it's entertaining. <laughs> it's cringy for me, but it is entertaining. I mean, I definitely think everyone on stream is definitely getting <laughs> quite entertained by this. I mean, Nidus Worm at your base, that just shows you're not taking it seriously. It shows you're just trying to meme. You're just trying to be a be a funny guy. I mean, what's so funny is that even though Supernova's been behind for pretty much this whole game, literally like one, if you play like a normal Zerg for one second, you can easily win this game. Like, I could very easily see this game go for like 20 minutes and then someone actually starts to take it seriously and like starts to spread creep a bunch, gets into Greater Spire or something, you know, actually starts micring well, and uses their bank up where the other opponent doesn't, and then it just ends up winning because of it. <laughs> so far, a bunch of hiders, though. A bunch of roaches on the way. He's engaging with a bit of a concave. Roaches do beat hydras. I think that's something that some people forget about hydras, is that uh, they are a very big glass cannon. Not running away with those roaches was a mistake, though. <laughs> I love a drone attack in the hatchery. It's like stabbing it, like. <laughs> he's just using his mouth. He's got like a brick in his mouth, and he's just going, Cock! breaking his teeth, but also breaking the hatchery. <laughs> I'm sure the stream is getting is real entertained with this. Engaging in the spines, though. Very bad. going for that. I mean, I kind of like, I mean, usually I would kind of like that, but he's rallying roaches, which you don't want to do. That's something I see in, T in ZVZ too much. And I think, to be fair, it happens in all matchups with people far too high a league, but uh, something you definitely should never do is rally across the map. Because, <laughs> oh yeah, let me burrow. <laughs> because uh, your, un your opponent, your units can clearly just get picked off one by one. You have an observer, bro. Or an overseer. And the thing is, they're not even A moving, they're move commanding, because you can't rally. When you rally units, they immediately move command, they don't A move. Another overseer here. You could have spores, but I mean, <laughs> why make spores when you got spines? They have detection, right? <laughs> I look at the resources lost tab. Yeah. <laughs> When both players have lost that much, and yet somehow it's equal supply, roughly equal supply. <laughs> He's gonna build a hatch there as well. Let me Nidus myself. <laughs> but I would love to see him to go like Nidus here, Nidus here, Nidus here, Nidus here, to, and use Nidus, Nidus to spread creep and be like, creep tumors don't, creep tumors don't exist. Nidus is the only, why aren't you building Niduses? Nidus is the only way to spread creep. <laughs> I mean, Supernova's never had enough army in this game, and the fact that he hasn't died is pretty much purely because his opponent wants to keep playing and wants to keep trash talking him. And now he's going to create a fire. And at that point, he could literally just send one unit across the map and win. 
I mean, his opponent's killing roaches with hydras, which, I mean, there's a reason you don't see hydras in ZVZ, <laughs> because they're glass cannons. You see right hydras and turn them into lurkers, and that's pretty much it. You sometimes see a ro roach hydra, but most of the time it's roach ravager, or roach ravager lurker. And uh, as long as he A moves, uh, he will easily win this. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> I mean, I assume that he's not. Don't do it again. Now, I assume Heroku's not mad at this, not mad at him, because I feel like he wanted this to happen from what I was hearing, so. <laughs> and he's moving away from the hatch, I love it. <laughs> he's down to three hatches, and one's on his side of the map. The supply is 61 to max. <laughs> and now just getting 1-1 one, one at the 20-25 mark. Upgrades OP? Oh yeah, I, I forgot about upgrades for the first 20 minutes of this game. <laughs> and of course, mass expand, because why not? I would love to see a long distance mine from here, even though he has a hatch over here. <laughs> Send a random queen out. Random Hydra here, random Gas Geyser, random Gas Geyser. <sighs> this is true meme territory here. <laughs> Man, I really should have. I really should have told everyone in FXP chat to get on this friggin' stream because they would have loved this. <laughs> they would have been laughing their hats off. I mean, he's making the right choice here of, you know, making a bunch of drones, not and just basically conceding the game if his opponent attacks, because uh, the only way you win here is uh, if your opponent just banks up a bunch of minerals and gas, doesn't do anything with them, and then uh, just never attacks you, uh, which is exactly what's happening here, because <laughs> literally he could just attack here and end the game, and both of them know that, and neither of them care. I mean, Renegade better have a clear schedule, because I have a feeling this game is going to go on for two hours. And if that's the case, I'm going to finish dinner, uh, probably take a shower, um, maybe go to bed as well, take a quick nap. Maybe do a little tightrope walking, maybe skydive a bit. Maybe, you know, ten bags of chips. <laughs> You say that, but you've had the Infestation Pit for over half of this game now, and um, you've not used it. <laughs> you could have had Windfesters a lot more long ago, and also they're not Windfesters uh, anymore, f anymore. they're Lose Festers. <laughs> if this was the old version of the Infester, uh, he would just wipe out all these Hydras, not lose any Infesters, and that would be GG, but current one, currently he's going to lose all of his Infesters and kill pretty much no Hydras.
Yeah, but if you never force the engagement, uh... <laughs> you can still kill them slowly but surely with fungals. <laughs> Oh yeah, morph the morph them all in the lurkers. I mean, he he could have done that like here and then actually won with that because I think lurkers he's got the upgrade for them, so ten range. I'm pretty sure the fungal growth doesn't have ten range. It's close, but it doesn't have quite that much range. Yeah, yeah. Now you make a bunch of links. And the thing is, if he counterattacks, like usually he would, it would be very good to just constantly counterattack, but he's got like five spines per base, with the exception of this one. I don't know. Uh, you have to ask Beastie. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just realized he's actually been creep spreading quite well. <laughs> oh yeah, now that... Wait, hold up. Where's his overseer? How did he actually see those creep tumors? Because there's a few that he... Oh, uh, I think the ones that were burrowed, or the ones that went invisible, and he didn't have detection for, I think they ended up getting hit because they were in a straight line from the ones that won wasn't. So I think that's what happened. Because they didn't actually have an overseer in that moment. What I'd really want them to see is spread these creep tumors inside the mineral line so that the, or the drones have to go around them. are real good in TVT, but not when both people are close to max out. <laughs> and now the production tab is going far much in Nova's favor, despite his opponent having you know, 2,000, 2, or 10,000, 10,000. <laughs> Resources lost, just ridiculous. I deeply apologize for missing the last few minutes of that incredibly memeful game. Uh, my dad interrupted twice now. So I'll see you guys in the next game that hopefully won't be cringy and just complete, just weird and filled with whys, hows, and uh, laughing so hard that your throat uh, becomes a centimeter thin, or actually more like a millimeter thin. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> In a second, I have to leave.